What lessons can we learn from the tragic suicide deaths of both Kate Spade and Anthony Bourdain? What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And today I'm gonna to be focusing on two problems with lessons that can be learned about these tragic suicide deaths of Kate Spade and Anthony Bourdain. Now, I will say, there isn't enough information out there yet. Uh, all we know is that there were suicides, there's some things coming out about Kate Spade. Anthony Bourdain struggled with alcoholism, but I don't so much wanna focus on that, but I do wanna focus on a couple major problems in our society as a whole, all right? The first lesson that we need to learn, okay, is that success does not equal happiness. What pains me, what pains me so much is whenever I see see celebrities pass away, right? Like aside from the tragic loss of life is that I know that there are still millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of people all over the planet who are going to work every day to a job that they hate because they wanna be quote unquote successful because they think success equals happiness. I've done videos on this in the past. Celebrities who take their own life are living proof that success does not always equal happiness. Like I mentioned it in a few videos ago, the backlash that Justin Bieber got when he said something about this. And people are like, no, I would much rather be you. I, I wouldn't have any of these problems if I was you and if I had money and da 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 da. While that's true, like always remember, I think it was Jim Carrey who said something along the lines of, I wish everybody could become rich and famous to understand that it's, it is not what will make you happy. Like, it's so true. So like, I really just wish people would grasp this concept and understand that this success or fame and fortune will not solve all of your problems. There's a lot that needs to be worked on when it comes to our mental health. The second thing that we have to talk about is the mental health awareness problem in our society, all right? I'm gonna read you a tweet that I've seen getting retweeted and shared around, all right? It says, Kate Spade committed suicide, now people are advocates for suicide prevention and mental health. Meanwhile, your best friend is struggling, depressed, suicidal, you haven't checked on them in weeks. You guys are so fake concerned about mental illness, it's actually hilarious. Now, this woman who posted this tweet, don't know her, don't know what she does, but I've seen a lot of people pass it around and this is such a problem. Depression to Expression actually made a video and like it was a short three minute video and his rant was just perfect. And I guess we're lucky that a celebrity dies by suicide so we do get a bit of attention. How sad is that to think about? It's a tragedy. It's too common. It's too common, it happens way too often. And action isn't just about tweeting about it. Action doesn't mean rallying around some fucking hashtag and thinking that's enough. Like, these are things, like, everybody's gonna forget about this in a week, two weeks, maybe on the anniversary of their deaths, people might talk about it again. But we live in such a fast-paced society where new news is coming out all the time, all the time, and we forget about this stuff. So yeah, it's true. People do stop caring about mental health as soon as the news dies down, and it breaks my heart. I see on social media all the time people that I see who are saying like, we need to care about mental health, we need to care about mental health, yet they do nothing. And we call this slacktivism, slacktivism. So many people use their social media platforms. And I'm not talking about celebrities. I'm talking about people like you and me, okay? People who go around acting like they care about stuff. So they get this, this uh, idea, like other people have this idea that I'm a good person, I'm a good person. See, I retweet and I share about these things. I'm good, I'm good. Like there's people who talk about stuff and there's people who do something about it, right? And there's so many people who simply talk about it, but they don't do anything about it. I was waiting to, to show you guys this experiment that I've been doing. I was waiting, and I might still do it when I celebrate six years sobriety, but I've been doing a little experiment on my Facebook page, unbeknownst to all of my friends. They don't even realize what I'm doing. Here's the example, Facebook post number one. Boom, you see this? You see this right there? I say that I've lost almost 50 pounds since last year. Good for me, congratulations, Chris. Look how many likes that, that thing has. 86, 86 likes because I'm, I'm almost down 50 pounds. That's amazing, right? Yet every single day on my personal Facebook page, I share posts like this. 
Look how many likes it has. Here, let me zoom in. Let me zoom in a little bit closer. Do you see that? One. One like. Nobody on my Facebook page shares, engages, comments when I'm constantly out there posting stuff that can help people with mental illness. This is the problem. This is why I ask you guys to share my video. You never know who it's going to help, but there's so many people on this planet who talk about it, but they aren't really about it, all right? So sorry I had to go on this little rant real quick. Um, Again, this is such a tragic loss, but it's gonna keep happening. It's gonna keep happening, and we're quick to forget until it happens to somebody really close to you, all right? So anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and please share it, okay? But if you're new here, please click on that little round subscribe button. I'm always making videos about mental health, so you can share it more often. If you wanna check out some other videos, click or tap right there, okay? Thanks so much for watching. Spread some awareness, and I'll see you next time.